The St. Vincent Bearcats opened the home portion of the 2012-2013 season with a visit from the La Roche College Redhawks, a team that went to the NCAA tournament last season. J.C. Howard hit a three on the opening possession for SVC, then a three from Isaac Turner made it 8-3 to three, just 90 seconds into play. Two consecutive fast break scores from Turner ran the lead to 11, 17 to 6, with 1440 left in the first half. Later, a turnaround jumper by Howard made it a 22 to 13 lead at the 11 minute mark. After the Red Hawks cut the gap to just three, Armani Fontaine scored two of his 10 points on the night making it 26 to 21, and SVC eventually took a four-point lead into the halftime break, 33 to 29. A fast break by Howard made it 37 to 31 early in the second half, then Chris Klimchak got hot, scoring on a drive that made the score 44 to 33. The lead got as high as 12, 47 to 35, after Sean Kett assisted on a three by Turner near the 14-minute mark. However, the Red Hawks storm back, eventually taking a 62-60 lead with three minutes remaining in the game. The lead didn't last long as Klimchak hit a three on the next possession. Dylan Stythe followed with a basket that made it 65-62 Bearcats with 2.15 to go. Klimchak then sealed the game with six straight free throws and a dunk by Fontaine closed the door as the Bearcats went on to a 75-67 victory. Klimchok led all scorers on the night with 24 points, while Turner added 22 for St. Vincent. It's, it's a huge win. That, that's a really good team we play in the Roche, and we knew it was going to be a tough one. We just came off a tough tournament, and it, it means everything to protect our home court, and we did a good job uh, at the end of the game there. Some of our guys, just uh, some of our senior leaders stepped up there. Monty had a big loose ball, and... We just uh, sealed the deal. I think I knew uh, at the end of the game, uh, in that type of situation, that's when I wanted to get the ball and uh, you know get us get us the win. I knew at the foul line, I missed a couple early, but I knew um, at the end of the game I wasn't going to miss any more. And uh, I just felt really good at the line and kept getting the ball and knocked them down for us. I think late in the game like that, it's just a thing of uh, leadership and experience in uh, those type of situations. And um, the thing is not to freeze up in those type of situ situations and. To, um, you have to make plays. Sometimes people get stagnant, and, you know, but those type of situations late in the game, two point, three point game, they're coming back on you. That's that's the time when our seniors got to step up. Uh, I thought that Chris Clemshock played extremely well. Um, you know, he, uh, I think he had 24 tonight, so uh, it's a little guy doing big things. Uh, I can't say enough about um, what he brings to the table for us. I thought a lot of our guys uh, showed a lot of composure tonight, and um, I also think that Armani Fontaine came up with a huge rebound at the end of the game, and that's what seniors are supposed to do. Um, Grant Latus has come back extremely well from his leg injury. LaRoche is a good team, and, uh, and we know that it's, we've made this tough schedule that we want to play uh, to have an opportunity to be ready for our league play, but also make the NCAA tournament. So that's very important to us. Um, I also thought that it was uh, important tonight for the Howard kid, being a freshman, getting his first start inside the Carey Center. Um, and, and I think he, he just keeps getting better every day. I think uh, Jeff handed me a, a stat sheet, um, and I think the largest lead was 12. Uh, I might be mistaken, but I think it was 12. Uh, we're just not ready to put teams away yet, and, and we don't have that kind of experience. But that's why you play these kind of games early. It's a lot better than uh, some of the teams we've played in the past. And uh, we kept a tradition alive tonight. I don't think since I've been here that we've lost a home opener, which is really important to us. And uh, we've played some tough ones, and this team was tough tonight. Uh, so we're really proud of our accomplishments. And you know we're going to come back and practice tomorrow and get the kids home for Thanksgiving. And uh, it's a lot better being on the winning side.